Hi and welcome to the play review of Inform Stephen Defoe. He now plays for Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League. He has a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. He also has 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 88 interceptions, 87 reactions, 85 balance, 84 ball control and 84 short pass. We've also included the upgrades from his non-inform as well as a comparison so you can pause it for a closer look. So now on to how we felt about the four. So it's good to see him back in the Pro League. And this is the first team I actually made in FIFA 14. And it's probably the first I'll do in FIFA 15 as well. Highly recommended. Always got quality silvers in the Pro League. The four stats suggest his best position would probably be at centre midfield. But we decided to give him a go at Cam, see how he did. So I was glad we did as well because for me he played absolutely amazing there. He does have a medium, medium work rate, so he'll be hanging around in the midfield, but this will work to your advantage, as he does have 84 aggression and 88 interceptions. So he can break up the play, steal the ball from the defenders, midfielders, and create for your team, because he's got great passing as well. He's got 84 short and 83 long pass. So he'd be good for pressing the opposition up top, pressing the defenders, pressing the CDMs, winning the ball back. And he did make a lot of tackles, as you'll see a little bit later on in his performance stats. I do think Cam is an ideal position for Defoe, that or centre midfield. I think he's a bit too small and weak to work as a CDM for me. He was getting pushed off the ball quite a lot in the heavy traffic and up against the big defenders. So the big surprise is when Defoe pushes up into the box. He only has a measly 68 finishing in his card stats, which I do not believe for one bit. He had two exquisite chips over the keeper in the box. The first floats over the keeper, just clips the underside of the bar before nestling into the bottom of the net. Then, just to prove it wasn't a fluke, he did it again, almost exact carbon copy, but this time up against Neuer. Chips it over, leaves him stranded. So Defoe was really good at finishing in the box, despite his 68 rating in finishing. And the goals just kept on coming as well, to be honest. For me, one of the best bargain informs so far of Foot 14. Just a pity it's right at the end, where not a lot of people are playing, so not a lot are going to get to try him out. So now let's show you his performance stats. So in 10 games, he managed to score 10 goals and got 6 assists. And at a special note, his average rating as well, 8.7, his lowest rating in 10 games was an 8.3. He was totally consistent, really consistent player. Put in a great performance every game. All his goals and assists are also in the position map in the bottom right. So you can always pause the video for a close look at all his statistics that we've put on the graphics for you. So overall, we're going to give Defoe a 9 out of 10. It's a real bargain discarding form. We had amazing returns in the goal department. 10 goals in 10 games for a camp, plus chipping with 6 assists. You got a really great player. There also is a quick screenshot now of his goals, because I wouldn't have believed if someone told me that he uh, scored that many. And he's going to win your balls in midfield as well. So great as a camp or as a CM. So I urge you to go and try him out if he's still playing. Try him out in a pro league or a Belgian side. Let me know how you get on with him. I hope you won't be disappointed as he played amazing for me. So finally on to his positives and negatives. Positives, as we said, good passing, short and long. His scoring ability was a big surprise, as we say, 10 in 10. Also his aggression as well. He's got good aggression and interceptions. Playing him further up as a cam, that does help him winning the ball back if you high press. So he's going to be winning the ball back, then creating chances for you. Only negatives are we put really his height and his strength. His height doesn't really help him. Five foot eight, so you're not going to be really playing him in a CDM role because he's not going to win a lot of headers. And his strength, he was getting, although it was 70, he was getting bumped off quite a lot up front. And it probably because of his small stature as well. But once he gets free and once he gets going, he's a great player. So hopefully you go and pick him up and give him a go. So thanks a lot for watching lads. Stay tuned for more stuff. End of FIFA 14 now. FIFA 15 round the corner. We're going to be in loads of squad builders, loads of reviews. So please subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you did enjoy as well. So thanks a lot. Cheers for tuning in. Cheers.